Welcome back to Four Faces. We're going to talk about a serious, serious situation. Yeah. I mean, you heard about the charges in Georgia. I'm not going to talk about so much about Trump. No, it's not. It's not about exactly about him. It's about one of the other 19 people being indicted in Georgia. And I'm going to talk specifically about a pastor. Yeah, yeah, you heard me right. A pastor. Someone who's supposed to be God-fearing, Jesus-loving, you know, reaching out to the community, is now going to be charged for, guess what, participating in an illegal act for the election. Yeah, he's being charged with 19 other people, including Donald Trump, in the case in Georgia, for doing something illegal. Now, where are the churches at? Where are they at? Why well, don't see them talking about this? They, I mean, they should be sitting here discrediting this guy but one thing i will say that his own congregation is saying you know what kick this guy out and i agree i agree 1000 percent. why is this guy going to still be part of a congregation that's supposed to be god fearing jesus loving outreach and he's still going to be part of that church and yet mind you it's not like he apologized for anything. He's like, no, I'm right, I'm right. We're going to try to overthrow the government. We're going to try to overthrow the elections. What type of nonsense is that? This is crazy. Since when? Leave a comment below and please subscribe. Since when do pastors participate in these political games, this politicalness? Do your pastor do it? Let me, no, stop. At, ask yourself this. Is your pastor in your church Talking about vote for this person, vote for that person. Let me know. Leave a comment below. I mean, in my opinion, I don't know why a pastor would get involved with things as far as politics are concerned. Get involved with things called people. Get involved with things called helping people that are sick. Get involved with the hospitals. Get involved with cancer patients. Get involved with people that are sick. Get involved with people that don't have a job. Pray for these people. This is what you as a pastor should be getting involved with. Not sitting there, running up there on the Capitol Hill, yelling and screaming and calling, I love this, this, this uh, politician, vote for this politician, vote for that. But what are we doing? What are we doing? Like, this is crazy. This is four faces. You know what? Leave a comment below. Let me know what you think about this. Let me know your, your insight. You know, because my point of view is that a pastor should never be involved with this. I mean, here it is. Stephanie Lee. Stephanie Lee, right? The guy, like I said before, he's got a degree as a law enforcement officer. He served as a law enforcement officer, right? He went to school, theology school, right? To learn about God, churches, and, you know. And now the guy's being indicted. <laughs> like, what type of nonsense is this? Why are we losing the churches? Why are we losing the pastors? Is it just they want more people in their congregation is this what is let this is is this what it's leading to sorry is that where we going well we going to do anything say anything because we need more membership because more membership is what more money so now churches are i they was already about business at least a lot of them, not all of them but now we just going all in and all out and just like yo let's just get let's say what we got to say so we get more membership so we can fill up the churches with people just so we could satisfy their nature and their desires. Is that what we're doing? Or are we supposed to be giving the word of God and Jesus Christ? I mean, you tell me. Leave a comment below if you understand what I'm talking about. Or leave a comment below even if you disagree with me. It's fine. But we need to have this dialogue. We need to understand that, that are we here to listen to a pastor talk about vote for this guy, vote for that guy. Whether it's Trump or whoever it is. Are we here for that? I don't think so. And anyway, why would you even be siding with Trump? The guy literally cheated on his wife with a prostitute. Like, like, why would you even be backing this guy up? 
This is the same guy cheating on his wife with a prostitute. Like, why would you back up? And I ain't even saying vote for Biden either. I don't care. I'm, not, I'm saying don't. Why are you even bringing politics into a church? Especially when the guy who you well, who you supporting have so many sins, so many things he's doing. Why would you support that? Support the churches, support the hospitals, support that.